three, two, one, let's go! What's good, family? Today is Tuesday, January the 30th, and this is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel, back with our end time news update. Family, let's go! Guys, we want to say thank you for tuning back in with us today. As always, your love and support of this channel means the world to us. Thank you so much. And before we get to this video, if you could give this video a thumbs up and make sure you got that notification bell turned on, that way you'll be notified every time we upload an end time video. Now, while we're an end time news channel, the ultimate mission of this channel is to point you to our creator, the Most High God, and his son, Jesus. And family, nothing says it better than John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Family, Jesus came to set the captives free. He paid our sin debt on the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Now to today's end time news update. Alrighty, guys, I'm back with the end time news update. And guys, we got a really important update this week. A lot of big events have went down since our last update. We're going to be covering seven end time headlines today. Now family, as we inch closer to the return of our Messiah Jesus, and we see this world being prepared for the time of Jacob's trouble, it's very important to have an understanding of end time events that are going down all across this crazy world. So family, without further delay, what you say we get into this end time news update? Because you can truly see... Bible prophecy in today's headline news. Okay, headline number one comes from the Watchman Dan 2 YouTube channel via indcatholicnews.com on January 30th. And this end time headline reads, Pope renews call for Holy Land, cease, F-I-R-E, two-state solution. Family, if you're not subscribed to Watchman Dan, I want to recommend you check out his channel. He's a beloved brother and guys, he puts out some great content. Now let's look at this story right here. So Pope Francis has renewed calls for a halt to the idea of operations inside of Israel. And also every other conflict that we're seeing go down all across this crazy world. Now family, this is what the Pope was quoted as saying. Check this out and I'll quote. There was the Oslo Agreement, so clear with the solution of two states. Until that agreement is applied, the peace remains distant. End quote. Now, family, I feel like that's some very interesting remarks for a man who's on a lot of people's false prophet watch list. And family, Pope Francis, like so many other people around the world, is ignoring the fact that the Bible makes it crystal clear that that land in Israel belongs to the children of Israel. Now, family, let's jump to headline number two, and it comes from USGS on January 30th, and this end time headline reads, USGS magnitude 2.5 and up earthquakes past day. So the past 24 hours, there have been 72 earthquakes of a magnitude 2.5 and up, with the strongest one being in China, which was a magnitude 5.7. And family, in the past 24 hours, the following states and U.S. territories have had an earthquake of a 2.5 magnitude and higher. California, Hawaii, Alaska, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, Oregon, and the United States Virgin Islands. Now, family, we're seeing a major increase in earthquakes, and that comes as no surprise, because Jesus told us in Matthew 24, 7, that in these times, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Family, this is all part of the birth pains leading up to the return of our Messiah. Now let's jump to headline number three, and family, this one is interesting right here. And it comes from People on January 30th. And this end time headline reads, Elon Musk says human patient is recovering well after Neuralink implants brain chip. Family, they finally did it. Check this out right here. The billionaire tech tycoon Elon Musk claims his Neuralink company has managed to implant its first wireless brain chip in a human patient. So Elon Musk said that Neuralink implanted their brain chip in a human patient for the very first time. Now the tech entrepreneur, who is 52, shared on X that the unidentified patient is recovering well after the person received an implant on Sunday. Initial results showed promising neuron spot detection added Musk, who founded the company in 2016. 
Elon Musk did not provide any additional information regarding the patient's condition or the procedure. Now, the quarter-sized chip implant has dozens of tiny thread-like electrodes. The electrodes are then implanted into the brain itself and relay electrical signals from the neurons per the Wall Street Journal. The chip is placed in the brain's region that controls the intention to move, reports Rutgers. Now, Musk shared on X on Monday evening that the brain science startup company is working to create its first product, Telepathy. And Musk previously announced that Neuralink's brain implant would be titled Link. Now, Musk did not confirm if these are different products or if telepathy is the new name for the brain implant. Now, family, listen to this next part. It gives me Daniel 12 4 vibes all day long. So, in a follow up X post, Musk revealed that the product would allow humans the ability to control phones and computers just by thinking. Wow. Now, family, listen to what Elon Musk said, and I quote. Initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs, explained Musk. Imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. That is the goal, end quote. And family, I also want to note that Musk confirmed in 2022 that he will also receive his own Neuralink implant per CNBC. Now, family, we've been covering this for years right here, the Neuralink story, and guys, they have finally done it. They put a chip, and I'm not talking about a Pringle or a Dorito. They put a microchip into someone's brain. Now, family, there is no way in this world that you could ever get me, convince me, or make me put a microchip in my brain. And family, did you catch the part that the telepathy will allow people to control computers, tablets, and phones only using their thoughts? Family, that is very dangerous right there. Family, this is stuff that years ago that you would see like in a sci-fi film or something. But guys, here we are in 2024 and it's here. In the comment section below, I want to hear your thoughts on this. And let me know if you would ever take a Neuralink chip. I think I know the answer to it, but I'm going to ask anyway. And family, think about this. Elon Musk is also the founder and owner of Tesla. And they constantly have to recall Teslas because they made mistakes. You think I'm going to let him put a chip in my brain? No, sir. Now, family, let's jump to headline number four, and it comes from Zero Hedge on January 29th. And this end time headline reads, Mess in the West, Army of God Convoy heads to U.S. border, while European Union farmers block cities. Now, family, we actually talked about this in a video a couple of days ago. There's been some more information come out. But if you haven't seen that video from a couple of days ago, I want to encourage you to go check it out. So on yesterday, Monday, January 29th, hundreds of thousands of truckers in what's being called God's Army left for the southern border of the United States of America. And the convoy will all meet on February 3rd in three locations in the United States. Eagle Pass, Texas, Tucson, Arizona, and San Diego, California. And family, it's been reported that nearly three quarters of a million truckers are taking part in this convoy. And family, they are going down there to protest the situation at the southern border, which is getting more heated by the day. And family, there's been a lot of people crossing into the United States of America illegally. In December, nearly 300,000 people crossed the southern border illegally. And family, the situation at the southern border is causing a lot of division and rift here in the United States of America. But one thing we do know is that division comes from the enemy. He loves to try to divide. Family, we need to make sure we're praying for the United States of America that this situation don't get out of hand and spiral to something even bigger, guys. Now let's jump to headline number five. And headline number five is from All Israel News on January 29th. And this end time headline reads, Arab plan for the day after. Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Jordan, and Palestinian Authority meet for secret talks. And family, you see at the bottom it says Saudi Arabia is still interested in normalization with Israel after situation in Gaza. Now family, these talks ain't so much of a secret anymore, Artie. What you say we talk about them? So, secret talks in the Saudi capital of Riyadh 10 days ago involved a discussion about plans for the day after the situation in Gaza, according to Atso's news media report. And they reported that leaders from Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Jordan, along with officials from the Palestinian Authority, met to discuss proposals for rehabilitating the Palestinian Authority 
so it can be allowed to participate in governing after the situation in Gaza comes to an end. Now, family, I think it's amazing that they held these talks in Saudi Arabia. I've told you many times before, Saudi Arabia is making some major end-time moves. But what these countries are trying to do in these leaders, they're trying to get a plan in place. That way, after the situation in Gaza is over, the PA can come back into power. But family, here's the thing. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has made it beyond clear that he will not accept any kind of proposal that involves the Palestinian Authority having any kind of control, any kind of power in the Gaza Strip after the conflict is over. And I think if these countries are going to try to make plans for the day after, they may want to make sure that Israel is okay with it. But family, like I told you many times before, I believe what we're seeing in Israel right now is truly paving the way for the rise of the Antichrist. But family, regardless, it's a very sad situation. I served in the United States Army. And family, I can tell you this, I have seen this firsthand with my own eyes. W-A-R does something to people's head and it changes your life forever. And it's so sad that just not the soldiers are going to have PTSD from this, but think about all the civilians and children. Family, Israel is truly being prepared for the time of Jacob's trouble. And we will not see peace in Israel until the Antichrist comes and makes a peace treaty with Israel. And even at that point, it's going to be a false peace, family. Israel's being prepared for the time of Jacob's trouble. Now let's jump to headline number six. And it comes from Irish Star on January 29th. And this end time headline reads, Map shows atmospheric river will bring heavy rain to U.S. states as weather warnings issued. Family, right here we got some more crazy end times weather. Check this out. Millions of Americans are under a weather warning this week as a system called the Pineapple Express that originated in Hawaii and family, it extends 3,000 miles. And it is expected to wreak havoc on the United States West Coast this week then work its way across the United States. And family, many parts of the United States is still reeling from severe weather that we had the past couple of weeks. Family, it seems like it's one system after another. And family, it's being warned that this Pineapple Express system is going to put out so much rain that we're going to see a lot of rivers begin to overflow. And family, all depending where you live in the United States, some parts of the country are going to see a lot of rain, while other parts will see heavy snowfall. You know, family, one thing my grandma told me when I was just a little watchman, just a little boy, is that in the end times, we're going to see crazy weather events. And Nanny, I'm seeing your words play out right before my eyes. I miss you and love you. Now, family, let's jump to our seventh and final headline, and it comes from the Watchers.News on January 29th. And this end time headline reads, Very Bright Fireball over downtown Beijing, China. Family, what we have here is yet more signs in the sky. Check this one out. So a very bright fireball was spotted over Beijing, China at 7.40 p.m. local time on Monday, January 29th, 2024. And it created an epic sight for residents and visitors who looked up and saw the fireball streaking across the night sky. Now, family, is it just me, but does it seem like every week there's some kind of major sign that's been going on in the sky? Family, it's almost like the heavens are preparing the way for the return of the king. And family, people are seeing fireballs streak across the sky all over the world. Family, me personally, I've seen one before. In the comment section below, I want to know if any of you guys have ever seen a fireball in the night sky. And if you have, where was you when you saw it? Family, I have one more thing to report to you. It has been 115 days since the events of October 7, 2023, a day that forever changed the history of Israel. And family, here in a week, we will be approaching the four-month anniversary of the events of October 7, 2023. And guys, the sad thing is, it don't show no signs of slowing down anytime soon. But like so many other things, family, this is part of the birth pains leading up to the return of the king. Alrighty, family, that's our end time news update for Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. Family, let me say thank you for watching as we put a lot of time and work into these update videos. So you guys watching them, it truly means the world to us. Thank you so much. We love you guys. And family, let me tell you this. You guys stay strong. I know a lot of us, man, we are under some intense spiritual warfare 
here in these final moments of the end of days. The enemy truly knows his time is short, so he's going after the believers like never before. We got to keep on that full armor of God and keep our head up and keep on looking up because our redemption draweth nigh. And family, remember, I promise you this. Jesus has not forgotten us. He is coming for his bride soon. So family, when life throws you lemons, remember, you're a child of God and the Most High God is fighting your battle for you. Step back and let him take care of the battle. And family, remember, Jesus paid your sin debt on the cross. Jesus was born of a virgin, lived a sinless, perfect life. At the age of 33, was nailed on the cross, had thorns put in his head. He spilled his perfect, innocent blood for us. He laid down his life for us on the cross to pay our sin debt. And then family, the enemy thought he defeated Jesus because Jesus lay dead in the grave for how long, guys? Three days, three days, three days. But guess what? The tomb could not hold our Messiah. Jesus defeated death. He defeated the tomb. He resurrected, went to go be with his father, the most high God, and family, he's coming back for us soon. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today could be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. The most high God is faithful and just. He will forgive your sins. And family, that's facts. Well, family, once again, let me say thank you for watching. We love you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Family, it helps us out so much and we truly do appreciate it. And if it's your first time to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel, family. Because you see here on this channel, you're more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated and we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And if any of you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. No request is too small and no request is too big for our God. And I want to give a special thank you to all our channel members. Guys, we love you. Thank you for all the support. And if you want to make a donation to Independent News, we have donation links in the description box below. Special thank you to everybody that helps us on the mission. But as always, biggest form of support we can get from you guys is you guys' prayers. And we greatly appreciate them, family. Well, the next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in 3, 2, 1. I love you. And remember, let's go Harpazzo. Later, family.